If you want new birth, new beginnings in your life today, you are desperate for it, you need Lent. It's Ash Wednesday. Welcome to Embraced, our 40-day devotional for Lent. What is Lent anyway? Let me tell you, yung etymology. Lent in Old English means spring, new birth. And that's what we want for our lives. Alam nyo? Preparation is everything. And that is what Lent is all about. If you want new birth, new beginnings in your life today, you are desperate for it, you need Lent. Lent is preparing your heart for the new birth that God wants to give to you. Jesus, before he started preaching and healing, he went to the desert. He prepared for 40 days. And that's what you and I will do. Sa Lent, Merong tinatawag na three pillars, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. All of that is connected to what Jesus did when he resisted the three temptations in, of the devil in the desert. Number one, the devil said, turn this stone into bread. What did Jesus do? He said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My dear friends, Fasting is a declaration that we do not live just by physical food. We live by the Word of God. So when you fast, you are declaring that God, He is your greatest hunger. The second temptation is the devil bringing Jesus to the top of the temple. And the devil says, jump! Anyway, angels will catch you. That's what we do when we give in to temptation. We're playing with fire. We're walking at the boundary at the edge, you know, and we're saying, Lord God, save us. But wait a minute. Why are you jumping for crying out loud? My dear friend, I remember I was praying over this guy with cirrhosis of the liver. You know, after praying for him, he said, Brother Bo, why? Why did God allow this to happen? I could not believe my ears because his wife was a friend who for the past 23 years was asking me to pray for her alcoholic husband. He was a heavy drinker for decades. And then he was asking, why is God allowing this? You know, my, my siguro yung, yung buka ko, eh, eh, hindi ko matago yung surprise ko. So it nag explain Sinabi niya, Brother Bo, all my friends are heavy drinkers. And Bakit ako lang may sakit? You know, we're like playing Russian roulette. You know, we, we load one bullet in a six-barrel, six-bullet revolver, and then we spin the, the thingamajig, and then we pull the, 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 the gun, hoping that it will not explode. And then we blame God if it explodes. Whenever we're tempted, instead of jumping, what should we do? Jesus was brought up the temple, and the devil said, jump. You know what we should do? Go down in the temple and pray. Prayer is, is, is a pillar of Lent where whenever we're tempted, let, let's, let's pray. Let's come before the Lord and make God the center of our life. The third temptation is the devil brings Jesus to the top of a mountain and shows the kingdoms of the world. And Jesus said, you should worship the Lord your God alone. My dear friends, almsgiving is a declaration that material things are not the solution to the need for our peace and our joy. At the end of the day, we need God. Lent is an invitation to prepare your heart for the new birth through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. I want you to enjoy each day of Lent and follow the powerful messages that will be coming to you through Embraced. It will be your time with God. Prepare your hearts for the new birth that God wants to give to you this Lent.